we were invited to the governor's mansion to have dinner with Ron DeSantis. And I wanted to share a little bit of that with you. You hear a lot about Ron DeSantis and you see a lot about Ron DeSantis. He's on your television often every night. He's in major headlines and he is a huge political force in our country. That's why I think it's so important to get an opportunity to meet with and really see who people are up close. I come from the state of Iowa. The reason why I am even doing this job or why I uh, 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 do conservative media and influences because I was able to see politicians up close. I was able to see who they were. It's amazing what happens when you sit down to dinner with someone. Over the course of many hours, you can actually tell who that person is and you can see how they, you know, you can see how they, how they act and you can sort of, with the right questions, really find out how the inside of, the, uh, of their brains work. You can really see, you know, who a person is and you can really tell, like, a lot about them when you ask the right questions and when you push on the right subject matter. And so let me say this uh, first and foremost. I uh, recently moved to Florida six months ago, and so it was an honor to get an invite from the governor to come have dinner uh, in Tallahassee at the governor's mansion. Beautiful building. However, uh, it was strictly off the record. So uh, I, of course, would never break that, and I am going to leave the minute details of the conversation uh, to the whimsical halls of the beautiful governor, governor's estate here in Tallahassee. What, what I will tell you is the larger scale, uh, fascinating things that I learned about Ron DeSantis last night in what was five hours of dinner and conversation, and then the best. Cocktail, uh, sorry, uh, uh, like 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 scotch and cigars afterwards, which was amazing. <laughs> Sit there and smoke a cigar and uh, drink an old scotch. Uh, I chose an American bourbon, of course, uh, and sit out back on the patio and uh, and and really get to 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 talking. And so while I will will and will forever and always respect the off the record. Um, uh, uh, nature of the conversations, I think that there are some some large things that you can take a, that I can take away about who the governor actually is, and it's very encouraging and it's it's wonderful to share. So uh, here are the two, th the the three actual things. Now that I'm thinking about it, that I learned the most about uh, Governor DeSantis. Number one, uh, Governor DeSantis, it, 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 he's a genius. I mean, this is going to sound sycophantic. Um, he's an incredibly smart person. It is really amazing. You know, he's a JAG lawyer. He, you know, he, he, he ran for Congress, very young man. Uh, he's a young father. He's a JAG lawyer. He's extremely accomplished. But the reason why he's so good at what he does is that he really understands the legal basis for things in our country, right? And so it's all of the COVID policies all of his positioning on various topics is based on his understanding of our systems in this nation and what is legal, what is constitutional, and what must be defended. Like he really gets that stuff. Like on a on a basic level, like it is the baseline for how he operates, right? It's the baseline for who he is and his worldview is the constitutional and foundational principles of our nation. And it's so important to have people like this because, as you can see in the Supreme Court case today, that is currently ongoing, the Supreme Court uh, is arguing against and for, uh, for and against both sides, listening to the oral arguments for Joe Biden's uh, obviously illegal and unconstitutional vaccine mandate, right, through OSHA. And, you, you know, I'm seeing these, these comments from Supreme Court justices that are just so illiterate. It's embarrassing. These are the people who are supposed to set up the safeguards for our nation, this, the legal guardrails for how we operate as a society and a people are set by the Supreme Court is how they're supposed to be set. And so a lack of understanding about that or like a, 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 a mental handicap not understanding our founding documents, the principles that, 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 that keep them together and knit them tightly and bind our nation together. Not understanding those things is a fatal flaw for people on both sides. I think there's plenty of Republicans, myself included, who could do great service by studying that more. Ron DeSantis is not one of them. Ron DeSantis doesn't need help. He really does get it. 
and he really understands his own um, specific authority and, and where that authority comes from, that legal authority comes from, and the uh, capacity to gameplay and to think through these processes and these rights and the power that comes with this office and the utilization of that was fascinating. I mean, just so interesting. He is probably the smartest politician I've ever met. The second thing that I learned last night about DeSantis that I thought you needed to know is that he views Florida, I think the view of, of DeSantis is to make, like to not care what anyone else is doing around the country, specifically Libs and the federal government, to just throw them aside and to just focus on Florida and make Florida its own laboratory of its own laboratory of freedom. And that's what you've been seeing. It's the driving force, I think, in his administration is that Florida must exist for Florida as a beacon to the rest of the nation as to what you could be and what you must do. And you're starting to see that now suddenly. Every governor in America is like, what's, what's Florida doing? Whether it's Texas or Iowa, where I come from, which both Texas and Iowa have perfectly fine governors. I like Kim Reynolds. She's the governor of Iowa. Yeah, that's my home state. That's where I was raised. But they all look now to Florida. It didn't used to be that way. Jeb Bush used to be governor of Florida. But now Florida becomes like the beacon of freedom. And it is amazing how if you prove how it can be done somewhere, then people will follow. The reason why they'll follow is they look at their own state populations and everyone wants to have a state population that's growing and healthy and happy. They see all of their people wanting to move to Florida. It's amazing. My parents live in Illinois, man. They can't wait to get the hell out of there. Come down here. I bet your parents want to come to Florida. I bet you want to come to Florida. I bet you already, maybe you already are in Florida, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are, lucky you, <laughs> you got in. And what I say to the libs that want to move here, sorry, Florida's full. I'm so sorry. I, the, you know, Ron DeSantis told me last night, he said, oh, I'm so sorry. Florida is full. Ah, oh, tough. We had to send out an emergency alert. Like Florida full for anyone coming from a blue state. We're so sorry. Yeah. That actually didn't happen, but it'd be amazing to get a alert on my phone. Sorry, blue state libs. Florida is full. No more room. Ah, oh, too bad. No more room in the inn. So it is wonderful to see Florida leading the way and the, 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 the governor and his administration are making Florida the model in our nation for uh, freedom. And you can see that. And for the last thing that I learned about DeSantis, which is so interesting, and obviously without, without giving too much information about the, the very delicate nature of a lot of conversations last night, and a lot of very interesting and fascinating uh, topics and subject matter, of course, those, again, will be, will be left to, the, to the, halls of the, the halls of the governor's mansion, right? That's where, that's where they, will, they will lay. But these are the large-scale things that I learned. And the last large-scale thing that I learned is that this man fights. He fights. It is unbelievable. You see him at these press conferences going back and forth with the press. Ladies and gentlemen, this man... He loves combat. He loves combat. He wants to create, not the grand old party, the new right. The new right is a party that fights. The new right is a party that does not get scared when the press asks them a question. The new right is a party that hits back. People who come at us and who want to destroy this nation, you're going to have to go through us. And if you want to wreck our children's future, well, we're not going to just allow you to do it. If you want to teach communism to it to them, no, actually, you have no right to do that. And you have no right to mandate vaccines and you have no right to mandate masks. And we actually are aware that our freedoms hang by a thread and we are that thread. And this man is willing to fight. It's amazing. It's amazing to watch. He's a legal genius. This is what I learned. He's a legal genius. It's so actual legal and I think legislative, uh, tactical combat, political combat genius, Ron DeSantis is. I mean, he is. He is. He is. Trust me. Two, Florida, everything that's happening in Florida is happening on purpose. It's happening on purpose. DeSantis is showing what you could do in your state. He doesn't want to meddle with Michigan. You know, he's not trying to be governor of Michigan or like, like meddle in anyone else's lives or mess with anyone else's, you know, uh, states. He wants Florida to lead. 
and then everyone else can look at Florida, and they already are. You can already see it. I bet you see it in your home state if you have a Republican governor or a Democrat governor. Every single one of these states across America are going, okay, how do we do that? Thank you for watching. We are 100% independent news. Are you sick of being lied to? We certainly are. That's why we started this channel. But we can't do it without you. We can't keep going without your help. All we ask is that you click like and subscribe and share this video. It's free and it keeps us going. It keeps us growing. It keeps us getting the truth out there to break the rotted corporate media infrastructure that wants to lie to you every single day, wants to corrupt your narratives, your truth, your story, and your very society. So support us by clicking like, clicking subscribe, and thank you, patriots.